What's up guys, Brent here with TheDroidDemos.com. Today I've got the Asus Transformer Pad Infinity, also known as the TF700T. And today we're going to be rooting the device, so for all of you that want to get a little more functionality out of it, this video is for you. Uh, to start out, the first thing that we're going to do is just change a couple of settings on the pad. So go ahead and click down here for settings. I'm going to go into security, go to unknown sources and check that off. Click OK, make sure that is checked. Then we're going to go down to developer options, click OK, and turn on USB debugging and OK to that. Make sure that is checked, then we're done on the device. Uh, we can go ahead and plug in the device now to our computer. And upon plugging it in, it should install your drivers. I've plugged mine in before, so it's already done that. Um, but it should show up right here at the bottom. It'll just say uh, installing drivers. It'll then show up Asus Transformer Pad uh, or TF700 uh, down right here. It should do that automatically. If it doesn't, we can install the drivers manually. Um, but on our computer, we're going to download, if you haven't already, the infinity root.zip file. Uh, I have it here on the desktop already. Uh, when we have that ready, we can right click on it, click extract all. That's just going to ask where we want to put it. I'm going to just let it install it, or rather extract it onto the desktop. We'll go ahead and click extract. And now we have this infinity root, infinity root folder here. By double clicking on it, we have all the files necessary for root. Um, if you didn't see Asus Transformer Pad uh, down here as drivers successfully installed, we can do that manually by just clicking or by going to the start button, typing device manager, enter to select device manager, and in here we'll have uh, it'll sh it should show up. Um, it could show up in, in a couple different areas. Um, most likely portable devices. It could show up as Android uh, or something else. Just take a look around here, see if you see it. Uh, when you find it, you can go ahead and click right, right click on it. I've already installed the dri or my driver successfully installed when I plugged it in, so it already shows up Asus Transformer Pad TF700T. But if it didn't, I could go ahead and click on that device that showed up, say Android 1.0 or whatever. Just right click on it. Sorry, right click on it. Go to Properties, Driver, Update Driver, and then you can click on Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Uh, inside that Infinity Root folder, I had mine on my desktop. Inside the Infinity Root folder, there's a Drivers folder. Just go ahead and click on that, and then you can click OK and click Next. Make sure it has include subfolders right there. Click Next. Mine says the best driver software is already installed, so I don't have to worry about it. But that's how you would, you would install it if it didn't do it automatically when you plugged in your pad. So I'm going to go ahead and close these. And when we're done with that, we can go ahead and start the root. Inside the infinity root folder, there will be a root debug fs right here. We can go ahead and click on this. This is a batch file that will just run the commands that need to be run. And here we have the uh, command that pops up. We have a little menu here. We're going to go ahead, go ahead and click 1 and enter for root. It reminds us that we have to have the drivers installed. should have those installed already. Go ahead and click any key to continue. Uh, then it says we must enable unknown sources and USB debugging, which we've already done. So go ahead and click any key to continue. And it says, waiting for device to be, to be detected. Uh, if you've done everything correctly, it should uh, do this successfully. Um, if it doesn't, you may not have installed the drivers correctly. So go, go ahead and go back to that step, make sure that they are. Uh, but you s should see it rebooting right here. As you can see on the device, it is rebooting now.
and then it goes ahead and finishes. Now it should say rooting and then reboot again. And now it's going to test super user. And now it says UID and GID should both be zero. You can look right here, it says UID zero, GID zero. Are they Y for yes? It says installing super user APK. success and rebooting again. It says once your prime reboots it will, will be rooted. Uh, notice it says prime. This is actually uh, the same root as the transformer prime um, but it accomplishes the same task. So it says press any key to continue. Go ahead and do that. It takes us back to the menu um, and we're all done. We can go ahead and close this out and uh, we'll go back to the device. So here we are on the device. Going to go into the apps. Go over. Uh, actually, it's right there on the first screen. We see super user right there. Uh, so that shows that we are rooted. Got it on here. Um, we can go back and uh, you can check it by downloading a root uh, app. But yeah, there it is. Nothing's changed. Um, you won't lose any apps or anything like that. You won't lose uh, any settings. It's all the same. It just roots your device and puts super user on here. So uh, there you go. Again, this was the root for the Transformer Pad Infinity TF700T. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. Um, subscribe on YouTube if you're if you're watching there. Uh, if you're watching on the Droid demos, you can go ahead and subscribe on YouTube as well. Go ahead and like this, share this on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.